pigeons eating spaghetti uh, when I first went to go. Let's see when I first went to go grab the turn the camera on the grab one of those uh, in the center. Oh, well, they just did a thing, it's a communication thing. And the one with the white top on its head, which the white top is kind of new. Well, it's the same, it yeah, is kind of quivering. Yeah, now they sort of tensions are a little higher. But the red one was in the center for a while. And now you make sure that no, no. That's the one I've been trying to bribe, so I don't want to scare it away. I just wanted to share kind of at this point. Yeah, you can see him like quiver. Like, a lot of times I see him quiver out of fear, but there's also I imagine excitement. Which I need to get into the theory of uh, emotive. Is it? Something. It's very ways to prove. Uh, emotive state. That's it. Yeah. States of being can be more or less. Uh, evidence can be gathered. That they exist or don't exist. And emotive being emotions communicated without uh, body language or without words so with body language and you know, true or false uh, and maybe it's also is God real well, it's, you can't falsify it so it's, you know, some say well you can't prove it so it can't be falsified either I think maybe the one that was super aggressive was like the bottom of the pecking order to some degree. And then it's also strange that it has the white top. It seems like more than just a random thing. Like maybe it's not being attacked by others so much. It's its own self. Like maybe it was getting attacked quite a bit. And now it's, and not eating as much food. That's why it was so like desperate for food. You know, yeah, yeah, pay attention. It's practically a dominant stance to Bogart the food. But it's also throwing some out to some degree. While it's like sifting through idea pieces and to what degree I have to ask, like is that uh oh wow well, now it's those three. Yeah, it was so weird. That was the one that they would, they would, they would have attack at, like, so it's just like, hey, I'm watching. Got to make sure it's been getting a lot of food, so it might even be, like, an older sibling to some degree, which we kind of fucked up, like. Say one of two siblings survived last time, but it's at the bottom of the pecking order. So it's barely survived. And that's the mom. At least of that one and the black one are siblings. But that one, the white top, because I, you know, I might be from the same dad. It might even be like half siblings. Because the dad of these two has that white top. Which wasn't coming in uh, when the pigeon was. I mean, kind of how I identify it is by uh, how its feathers are so like jagged looking compared to the other ones. And I sort of named it Smoke because well, there's one that looks like a lot like the black one that would ninja itself in and. Disguise itself, whereas this one would give it would 
ninja itself in, but like, I mean, it doesn't really blend in. So it's got that great color, so I called it smoke. And then all the assassination attempts that it, it tried to perform on, on these two, like, was kind of fitting with its ninja name. Let someone take a nap, but I don't want to. I just gotta use make a hand signal and that one knows like it's allowed to eat so long as it plays nice with the with those two. Especially the red one I think because the red one's like the not the not the weaker of the two, but like more timid and but they they come with different benefits. I just gotta watch their movements so carefully because they're very ta uh, tactical. And yeah, a lot they can just communicate on spacing and, and walking pace. Like if they're fanning out to attack or to try to outflank. Is the other messy eaters? Maybe it's their way of sharing too, though. It makes sense. So, like, you know, 